everyone, let's talk about how to get a couple more achievements in Amnesia the Bunker. We're going to be going through Nope Say Throw, Toy Collector, Sentimentalist, and Toy Fanatic. I really hope my French isn't terrible, by the way. I'm so sorry to all the French people out there. Okay, so starting things out, Nope Say Throw. I think that this is actually one of the funnier ones and easiest achievement to get. But basically, you just want to start the beginning of the game. Uh, you know, you wake up in the bed, pass the tutorial, all that type of stuff. And then when you actually go into that first room where you're going to be able to see the soldier holding out the gun and he's like, oh, I don't want to die. You need to take my own life. Go into the pantry and grab some bolts so you can put me out of my misery. As soon as you go into the pantry, then the monster comes out and grabs him. Well, as soon as he's gone, just go ahead and quit the game. <laughs> It should be as simple as that. I saw online that some people had a bit of trouble being able to do it, but what I found was as soon as he went through the hole, I waited a couple of seconds and then I quit the game and things were fine. So maybe just try that framework and hopefully it works out for you. If not, just reload the save. You just got to go through that beginning section again and eventually it should kind of work out. All right, now that the easy one's out of the way, let's talk about the Toy Collector, Sentimentalist and Toy Fanatic achievement. Minor, by the way, minor spoilers for this achievement because they're all kind of tied to the lore that's going on here. But as long as you're okay with that, then let's talk about what's going on. So for the toy collector achievement, you actually need to find a toy rabbit. And you can actually find this rabbit in the original hole that Lambert did fall down into uh, where this game kind of just all kicked off. In order to get there, you got to go to the Roman ruins upon which just on the other side of that little place where you get that thing. I, the word's escaping my mouth right now. My mind, not my mouth, it's all falling apart. Where you get the detonator, uh, you're gonna notice that there's actually a little bit of a hole in the side. And if you move some of the barrels and boxes out of the way, you can get through there and you're gonna be able to find this rabbit as well as Lambert's Diary Part 2. As soon as you pick it up, the Toy Collector achievement will be able to pop here. But now let's move on to the Sentimentalist achievement, which is the next part of this. As soon as the monster comes out, you just need to throw the rabbit in front of it and then it will take a look at it, be like, oh snap, that's right, this is mine, and then disappear again with that toy rabbit. So the backstory here is Lambert is actually turned into the monster. Uh, if you read through the notes, he talks about how he bought this toy rabbit for his son and lost it somewhere along the way. And so that's why if you throw the rabbit out, uh, he's gonna pick it up and then disappear again, which is fantastic. It also serves as another way to deter the monster for a little bit of time. If you are playing on easy mode, you might have a little bit of difficulty spawning the monster to come and grab it, but just pull out your pistol. As long as you shoot a couple of bullets and hide out of the way, then generally speaking, the monster will come up and pick up the rabbit and then disappear. Boom, sentimentalist achievement unlocked and you're good to go for part three. All right, so for the toy fanatic achievement, you have to reacquire the rabbit. And obviously when the monster comes and grabs the rabbit, well, there's only one place he's gonna be dropping that off and that is in the chapel. Of note, if you did deter Lambert in maintenance, you actually have to leave maintenance and then come back and also wait for the monster to start making noises again. And as soon as you do that, you should walk into the chapel and the rabbit should be there. I had a little bit of trouble looking for the rabbit because I, you know, I got the monster in maintenance. He disappeared. I went straight to the chapel and there was nothing there. And so I just left the area, came back and boom, bada, boom, bada, hey, it was all good to go. There you have it, a little bit of lore, but there are four easy achievements in Amnesia the Bunker getting you closer and closer towards that platinum trophy, woohoo. Why did I say platinum trophy? I'm, I'm crossing bridges here. That, the achievements is Xbox trophies are, anyways. All right, like and subscribe if you did enjoy. We've got a couple more videos coming out about Amnesia the Bunker. And I do want I do want to work on a lore video. I know I talked a little bit about it here, but I think that there's more to expand on because everyone and their mother knows at this point that Lambert is in fact the monster. All right, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.